now it's a final time so paper 2 is uh, relatively manageable paper 4 is more challenging yeah. uh, look at the question fx is equal to 3x plus 4 gx is equal to 2x minus 1 first part says g half so g half means replace x replace x by half okay Solve it, solve it. All right. Second part F H minus one. We first need F H. How we find fx? We first write fx. And, and what is fx? 3. x plus 4. Yes. 3x plus 4. I have changed the color of x because I want to highlight the idea that what is fx? fx is that I have to replace the x position and put there x. So I am replacing, look carefully, I'm remo removing x. And here I put it. Now remember, when bases are same and you multiply them, the powers are added. There is no power on three, so it would be one. So it will be three power x plus one. Can you understand how come I got 3x plus 1? We multiplied the uh, 3, 1 by 3x. Huh. But when we multiply like basis, when multiply the like basis, powers are added. Yes. What, what is any number raised to power 0? Any number, pay, uh, the powers are 0. No, no. Any number raised to power 0. What is What would be 3 power 0? Uh, it would be 3 multiplied. And remember that it is 1. 1, okay. What is the concept? Any number raised to Oh. We find G inverse, any inverse. First, we suppose the function is Y. What was the second step? Then we replace. Look at the second step. That's why we have notes and uh, hopefully you have maintained one register. So you should have all the notes. Yes. There are three steps. Take the function as y. Take the function as y and then rearrange it, make x the subject. Okay. And then in the end, replace x by f inverse, y by x. Now, 
do part number D, FF. Yeah. What is yeah. FX? 3x plus 4. Replace the same function there. Carefully see the step. Yes. Self substitution. fx whole square in the form this. What is fx? 3x plus 4. How we open square? Uh, we put uh, 3x plus 4 twice. No, but what is the formula for a plus b whole square? a square plus b square. Okay. So remember this formula. Better write all these concepts in your notes also. Yeah. Okay. One second. This is a formula for whole square. Now open it. See the working? Yes. What is HX? HX is 3 power X. 3 power X. Yes. And uh, what is G? What is GX? GX is 2X yes, minus yes, 1. Yes, yes. So let me first find GX. GX is equal to 2X minus 1. So what value we got for G2? It is now it will be H inverse X. In place of G2, I'm writing 3. Yes. Look at this screen. This is a very important formula and you should copy in your notes. It doesn't oh. come every year, but uh, it's very helpful. Okay. If, if you move inverse from one side to the other, it becomes a function, inverse disappear. So yeah. I am you going to use this. I am moving the H inverse to the other side. So it will become H of 3. Okay. Now what is HX? HX is 3X. 3 to the so power of X. 3 to the power X. Yes. If we consider now, 
hx is equal to I'm replacing x by 3. Okay. So look what value of x we are getting. Okay. Yeah, that's x is equal to 27. Yes. Now, note down these formulas for your memory, and it's very important to remember these three formulas. A plus B square is equal to A square plus 2AB plus B square. A minus B square is equal to A square minus 2AB plus B square. A square minus B square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Okay. Copy these three formulas. They are very important and no note them down in your notes register. All right. Okay. The next question is May, June 18. Oh, no. uh, uh, we have done functions. Uh, I'm planning okay. to do a question on GT. GT comes in every paper. So okay. GT, last time we did only one question on GT. So we have to give a question on GT. If I get one here, same paper, question number one. Okay. Same paper, question number one, but you should open, if you, you have a topical book, right? So you yeah. open this question in your topical book, transformation title. Okay. Let me know once you get the question. All right. On the transformation unit. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, I got it. If you go, if you get it, can you read the question? Okay. Describe uh fully the single transformation that maps triangle P onto triangle P. Yes. Then... Okay. So it is. Rotation. Describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle T onto P. Do you think it is a reflection? It's a simple flip. Mm, I don't think uh, it's a reflection because the boxes are not uh, the same. But the mirror line can be any line. Na? It's not necessarily the x-axis. Look the shape. Connect the points. Yeah. Imagination, if you connect the corresponding vertices, they all are matching. Do not think yes. that x-axis should be the mirror line. Oh, okay. You can look for right. a new mirror line. So it, it could be a reflection. Yes. Look at this line. Can it be the mirror line? Yes. And the equation of this line will be y is equal to 1. Okay. So what it is, it is...
translate triangle T by the vector minus 2 minus 5. Mm -hmm. Minus 2 means 2 unit left. Minus 5 means 5 okay. unit down. down. So, the triangle T, so two unit left and five unit down. Start moving the coordinates, two uh, yes. left. I'm moving one vertex, one, two, two unit left, one, two, three, four, five. So, okay. one point is coming here. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. So two unit left, two unit left, and five unit down. One, two, three, four, five. Then this point is coming here. And one's at uh four to minus one. Four two? Four minus one. Yeah, the this point. Hmm. So I'm getting the triangle here. Yes. By the way, I think uh, for uh, rotating 90, uh, 90 anti-clockwise, we can also use graph tape. You, you can I'm use? sorry, uh, you can uh, like the uh, transparent paper. Uh, I know, but translucent paper is, uh, you can use it if you have a practice on that. Actually, yeah, actually uh, in yeah, school, you have a practice on, practice on that. that. Yeah, yeah. You can use it. Uh, personally, I think box counting is the best method, but if you are good at that, you can try that because 0, 0 is the center, 90 degree anti-clockwise. Now, where is 0, 0? Okay. And uh, this is 0, 0. And you want to rotate triangle T through 90 degree anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise will be like this one. Yes. So just counting the box is very simple because count the box and switch it. Like if I count the box, it will be one, two horizontal and two vertical. Yes. So you can count the boxes back vertical to horizontal to. So it will be swept and it will be two, two again. So when you move it from this point, So what would be the destination of this point? Let it let me call it P. I'm first moving P. Yes, so it will be horizontal to horizontal to vertical also to. So this point will come here. I mark it P prime for simplicity. 
Okay. This is box counting method. And remember, you have to move it. You have to move it along the center of rotation. Now, for reference, let me say this is my point Q. Count the boxes. One, two, three, four, five horizontal and yes. two vertical. So reverse okay. it. Five horizontal, two vertical. So two horizontal, one, two, three, four, five vertical. Yes. I'm getting here is my Q prime. Yeah. And then uh, <clears throat> R prime will be at uh, minus four to six. Minus four to six. Achha. Let's see. Uh, let me call the third coordinate as R. So okay. one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> And one, two, three, four. Five horizontal, four vertical. So swap it. Yes. Horizontal four, vertical five. This is R prime. I think it's wrong. I think the uh, two above points should be at six instead of five. Hmm? I think uh, R, R prime and Q prime should be at six instead of five. Six? Achha. Yes. How come? Because this is only three boxes. Huh, but huh, you're right because the PQ side is four, four units. Yeah. So let me check which mistake I'm doing. Uh, I'm counting the boxes one, two, three, four, five, five and four. So four and ah, because logically it's right because the PQ side should be of four units. Yeah. It means I'm, I'm counting the box wrong. Let me count the boxes again. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there are six boxes. Yes. Six horizontal. One, two, three, four. Four vertical. Then four yes. horizontal and six vertical. Right. I counted one box less, but one box less. Yes. So, this is the mistake and So now let's move to the next point.
We have to enlarge triangle D by scale factor minus half with center near zero. What he says in the next? Enlarge triangle D by scale factor minus one over two with center zero zero. Enlarge triangle T by scale factor minus half with center zero zero. So when you have a minus sign, when you have a minus sign, it actually, the minus sign means that when you have a minus sign, it means that the figure will be flipped. Yes. And you have to half it, half the size. Yeah. So this is the length. Uh, these are diagonal two boxes. So if I half it, it will come here. Yes. How much it, it will be decreased? Uh, by 0 0.5. Now we need to make it 0 0.5. But you can either put the ruler or count the boxes, four vertical and six horizontal. So okay. it has to be. First, let me join this uh, like this. It's easy to join this. It is horizontal six, vertical two. So half it and it will come here. Horizontal three and vertical one. How I got three and one? Uh, the factor is half. Yeah. I have marked the three positions. I have halved every number. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I think so. To look at the diagram, it is flipped. It yes. is flipped as well as half in dimensions. Right. 
the next question is May June eighteen P forty two. P forty two. Yes. Question, question number three. Three. Yes. We need x is equal to 2. A line on x is equal to 2. Yes. So this is the line. He says image of the triangle A. Yes. I have made the line. How we can reflect it? Counting boxes. Uh, count the boxes and move it forward. Yes. Okay. This is A part one. Yes. Draw the image of triangle A after a translation by the vector minus 2, 4. Minus 2 means 2 unit left. Yes. 4 means 4 unit up. So 2 unit left and 4 unit up. We have to move every point, like one, two, one, two, three, four. It's minus two, four. I got one point. Let me call it P. My P prime is here. Looking at P prime, I can draw, virtually I can draw the whole triangle there. Because in translation, the shape doesn't have to change. So yes. let me take here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The triangle here. And uh, there are two vertical boxes in the triangle. So two vertical boxes. And then...
to join it now and make the triangle? Yes. Okay, thanks. Draw the image of the triangle after an enlargement by a scale factor minus half. Minus means flip. And yes. half means diminish. So make a smaller, right? Scale, uh, sorry, center is 3, comma 1. Yes. So, you have to try it. I'm just coming. I have to say Asar Namaz here. Okay. The, you can try this and we can resume it. <laughs> 